Thanks, Paul. Now let's have a look at the planets for December. Mercury starts the month as an evening object, but it will be very close to the setting sun and probably not observable. As the year draws to an end, Mercury will settle later and further from the sun. However, it is always very low in the evening twilight. As Paul mentioned, on the 1st of December, Venus will be occulted by the moon. Throughout the month, it will always be visible in the evening sky and although never high above the horizon at sunset, at a magnitude of minus 4, it should still easily be seen. If you view Venus through even a small telescope, you should be able to see a definite face on the planet. It will be at its greatest eastern elongation during January. So, if viewed this month, you should be able to observe a definite change in its size and face. Mars finally reaches conjunction this month. So, we can look forward to the new year when it will become visible again during spring. Jupiter is now well past the best time to observe. In fact, Towards the middle of the month, it will start to set earlier than Venus. It may still be visible with the naked eye, but so low in the horizon and still in the evening twilight, it is not worth observing with the telescope. It will be late 2009 before Jupiter is really observable again. Saturn rises in the east in the early morning. At this time of the year, it is perhaps the only planet worth observing. Rising in the constellation of Leo, it will reach high in the sky before the morning sun spoils the view. As the month progresses, Saturn rises earlier in the night, but it will always be an early morning target this month. Uranus is in Aquarius at a magnitude of 6.0. It rises in the early afternoon at about 1.15 UT and passes the meridian at about 6.35 UT. So, Uranus makes a good early evening target and is best viewed at the start of the month. At a distance of about 20 AU, it will have an apparent diameter of 3.5 arc seconds and will appear as a small blue-green disk. Towards the end of the month, Uranus will set earlier and earlier and despite the dark evenings, will become more difficult to view. If you have not observed Uranus, then December is probably your last chance for this year. Neptune is still in Capricorn but sets very close to the Sun so it will be difficult, if not impossible, to observe. By the end of the month, Neptune will set before Venus and in any case will be low on the southwestern horizon. You may well now have to wait until next year before being able to view Neptune again.